When Lewis Carroll introduced his readers to the upside-down world that Alice encountered in Wonderland, he must have been having a laudanum-induced vision of Rhode Island in the 21st century. Everything was backward in Carroll's distorted dystopian world. The Queen made proclamations to an unsupportive crowd, then declared them all negative when they complained about her orders. Or was it off with their heads? Insiders like the March Hare and the Mad Hatter went about their business oblivious to Her Majesty's orders, but always flourishing nevertheless. Whenever Alice questioned any of this, she was immediately distracted by being made small or ten feet tall. Lewis Carroll may have been the second coming of Nostradamus. Look what he foretold. The legislat legislature and the executive branch here in Rhode Island used talk of a statewide program of infrastructure repair as a distraction and pretext for forcing a legally questionable truck tolling scheme on Rhode Islanders. Then they quickly set about using the money for something else entirely. In his Ocean State Current blog, Justin Katz asked if any of us remember the map Governor Raimondo used to sell the original Roadworks program. It showed 224 structurally deficient bridges around the state. Now, after all the hoopla of the political equivalent of an eight-month running gun battle, we plan to deal with just seven of those failing structures. And by the way, all seven are in the same one-mile stretch. And for purposes of this project, the term deal with is defined as demolish to make way for a tunnel. Ask any of your friends if they think they've been lied to and ignored by the administration during this political pantomime, and they'll answer, heck yes. Then ask if they think the current cost estimates are lies too, and you'll get the same answer. But we'll still be expected to pay up no matter what. Here's my question. Our state government sends us an unending stream of invoices. But do we feel like we are getting value for any of that money here in Rhode Island? Yeah, right. So what are you going to do about it? Move to the Carolinas? There is quite a community of Ocean State expats down there. Or are you going to get mad and then get down to your polling place on election day? If we don't take action while we still can, we'll be left with nothing else to do but just ask Alice why she's 10 feet tall.